down and put the randomizers on and let's do that now. There we go. Now, audience, it is up to you. What I want you to do is to count down from 10 to 0. Are you ready to start that count? Okay, here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, who's that gentleman? Who's that there? Gentlemen, standing up, come, come to us, come. Give him a round of applause. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> come here, come here, sir. Turn around, turn around. Are you all right? Are you all right? Yeah. What, what's your name? Stephen. Stephen, where are you from? Nottingham. Nottingham. Stephen, you look as though you've had the shock of your life. <laughs> Shaking like a leaf, but you're all right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Are you, are you, you are obviously a fan of the show, given your T-shirt. Yes, definitely, yes. And so what does it mean for you to be... We, what we're going to do is we're going to send you out, Stephen, into our first location, not alone, but with the team. Yeah. How yeah. does that feel? Amazing. <laughs> oh, you'll be great. You'll be fine. I'm sure you'll be absolutely brilliant. We'll look well, after you. Thank good. You. And you know what to do now, Yvette. Will you please take your team and go to our first location tonight? Come on, then. Off we go. <laughs> We go to our first location. So whilst they do that, let's catch up with Julian. Julian, last night, fantastic. Amazing. Update? Yeah, update. First of all, how to get in touch tonight, very importantly. Um, the, the phone, call us 08712 44 Fax your psychic art, and we love getting oh, that. Oh, we love we, psychic we art. We do like psychic art. We want more of that on the fax. Here's the number, 01332224127. Or, of course, text us, very popular, haunted, space. Then your comment, space, your message, and the number, 83088. And, of course, report your sightings online, livingtv.co.uk slash most haunted live. Now, David, last night we had an incredible response with over 40,000 visits to our website, wow. over 5 million hits. Oh, that's fantastic. Amazing. 13,000 of you entered our first ever viewer competition, and we received almost 11,000 ghostly sightings on the webcams. And just to sum up the webcams from last night, according to our viewers, the large downstairs room of John Flamsteed's house was a paranormal hotspot, and we had over 3,600 sightings in three hours last night, Good including grief. a mysterious figure of a woman. Do you know, going back to that five million, I know that's a record. That's the it most we've ever one, had on a single night. night. Yeah, yeah, wow, amazing. At Easter, we had 10 million over the three nights, so five that's million fantastic. last Thank you very much for those. Interestingly, at 11.19 last night, we had an influx of postings from people saying they could hear a man and a woman arguing on all the webcams that, that came in. So judging from our views, it seems that, as Yvette was saying earlier, <laughs> Derby is living up to his reputation as the dead centre of Britain. <laughs> and some other things from last night. Many people saw orbs around Yvette during the vigil at the lift, whilst others were overwhelmed with a feeling of sickness or sadness when the lift jammed. And finally, we'd like to recap on a premonition at the beginning of last night's show when four viewers contacted us to say that some members of the crew would suffer neck pain during the show. Take a look at this. Over the next few nights, we're going to meet the interactive team who are answering your calls, taking your emails. And uh, Jane is here with some uh, thoughts and uh, texts and so on. What have people been saying, Jane? Well, one thing we're very interested in are converging stories. And before the show even started this evening, we had four people, including Sarah Pearcy and Carol Baring, who emailed us to say that they think one of the team is going to have a problem with a sore neck this evening. Is anyone getting a tightening around the, the neck or the throat? Yeah. That you thing? are. Because yeah. right now... It's like as if I've got this tightening sort of around my neck and it's just tightening and tightening. And I, you know, I can't breathe and I, I seem to be like choking. Well, isn't that amazing? And remember, Derek cannot hear what's happening at the back of the hub, so he couldn't have known about our viewers' premonitions. So, Dave, and the other thing we ought to say... It's, do you know, it's really weird. I woke up this morning, what did I have? A bad neck. Bad neck. Thank you very much for the moment, Julian. Uh, OK, let's get tonight's show cracking because we've sent the team out to the first of tonight's 
locations. It's to McCluskey's Nightclub. And if you live in Derby, you'll know where that is. It's situated on Babington Lane in Derby City Centre. This is the 3D image of that particular location. It was originally called the Grand Theatre. The theatre was actually condemned by the religious community of Derby as an instrument of the devil. And in 1884, six months after the theatre had been built, it mysteriously burnt down. Two people died during that, and since then there have been numerous ghost sightings. And Richard, Felix and Yvette have been there investigating its history, so let's take a look. This is McCluskey's nightclub, but this was originally Derby's Grand Theatre, and all the famous artists played here. It was the dream of a man called Andrew Melville, an actor, who built this place in 1886. But within six months, his dreams were in ashes, because this building tragically burnt down. Unfortunately, two people were killed, an actor and also a carpenter during the fire. And it's believed that their ghosts still haunt this building to this day. I've heard a glass smashing over the bar and while walking down the staff passage, uh, a strange cold chill. Um, and while spending a night here, uh, door slamming uh, and never quite seeing what was going on. And very strange things always seem to happen on the balconies of McCluskey's. Uh, after staying here that one time and hearing them experiences, I don't think I'll stay in this building alone again. There's so much paranormal activity at McCluskey's nightclub, we just couldn't ignore it. Glasses smashing on their own, doors opening and closing, footsteps are often heard, and always the feeling that you're never on your own. Could all these happenings be down to one ghost, that of Andrew Melville, the actor? Melville rebuilt the place and it went on for many, many years as a fantastic theatre here in the centre of Derby. And there's one very special ghost that still wanders the place. Nobody really knows who it is. They get an awful sense of, of never being alone. And there's every possibility, of course, that it could well be Andrew Melville, the man that loved this building so much that wants to haunt it even to this very day. So, can Yvette and the team shed any light on the mysteries of McCluskey's nightclub? We'll find out after this break. Most Haunted Live. Now, this is the second night of three live broadcasts from Derby. Now, tonight, the investigation unit, headed by Yvette Fielding and Derek Okora, will be holding vigils in four locations in and around Derby. And if last night was anything to go by, we are in for an extraordinary evening. Among the locations we aim to visit this evening are the old Derby jail, where many men and women were executed for murder and treason, the labyrinth of tunnels beneath Derby's Guildhall, known as the Catacombs, and we'll also investigate poltergeist activity at the Friary, which is now home to a theme pub. And I have just heard that the team have now arrived at McCluskey's nightclub. We'll cross live to them in just a moment. But first of all, we need to tell you about our fabulous competition. Julian? Yeah, David, well, last night it was tickets for tomorrow night's show. Tonight we've got goodies, and some of the goodies you can't actually buy, some are really nice. Over £300 worth of goodies. The team are going to pass over the first thing you could win, this very nice. Look, it's the size of a credit card, digital camera. Also, we've got the EMF, your very own electronic, ma electronic uh, magnetic field detector. It actually works. If I turn the thing on, there's the light going on and on. Uh, you get your own little torch with Most Haunted on it. Look, it's got Most Haunted on the side. And look, there it is for you, so that's rather nice. And it all goes in with lots of other goodies, including T-shirts and so on, which are very valuable. The most haunted rucksack. Very nice. Now, if you'd like, this is worth over 300 quid. If you'd like to win this, here's tonight's competition. What object nearly hit Yvette in Stratford-upon-Avon? Was it A, an albatross, B, a spoon, C, a wooden tray? So those are the choices. What object nearly hit Yvette? What object nearly hit a vet in Stratford-upon-Avon? Was it A, an albatross, B, a spoon, or C, a wooden tray? Now, text your answer, please, to haunted, space, comp, C-O-M-P for competition, space your answer, A, B, or C, and, of course, your name, and send it to this number, 80088. And um, you could be a winner. 
late in the programme. We've got ten sets of those to give away tonight, so fantastic prizes. Good luck. David. Thank you very much indeed, Julian. Right, without further ado, let's go over now to McCluskey's nightclub. This is where the team have now assembled. We'll, uh, we'll now go and find Yvette Derrick and the